Alright, so a few of us have been talking about uh, the difference between doing a two-stage ban with DSR versus a three-stage ban with no DSR. And there's definitely valid points to both sides, and a lot of it really comes down to preference, but I have a pretty strong preference on this one, mainly because uh, we've tried it both ways before, and there's a fundamental flaw I feel like without DSR. And just to give a quick catch up to anyone who's watching this who isn't quite familiar with what DSR is, it stands for Dave's Stupid Rule. And essentially, it is when you have uh, the ability to say no to an opponent who wants to go back to a stage that they've already won on. So say we strike down to Smashville game one, game two, uh, say player one wins, player two uh, takes them to final destination, and in game three, player one tries to go back to Smashville, player two has the right to say no, you've already won on that stage. So obviously this is going to uh, force player two to go to different stages. So if we're going to break down why DSR is actually important, we need to break down what our actual goals are, and that's to make a rule set. And why do we make a rule set? The question sounds so dumb, why would you make a rule set? But you really need to look at what you're doing and why you're doing it. So we make a rule set so we can host tournaments, and why do you host a tournament? To see who's the best, that's the whole point. So how do you determine who's the best in a game with so much variance and so many unique attributes? And the answer to that question is you have to uh, set up as many controlled scenarios as you can to get data from. And then once you have those controlled scenarios, you open it up and you start making as many sample sizes as you can. So let me give you an example. And this is going to be a, a rather extreme example, but I'm doing that just to like highlight the fundamental issue I have with not running DSR. So say in Melee, all of a sudden they decide we're only going to play with Final Destination as the legal stage. Uh, all of a sudden we're going to start to see a massive change in results. And we're going to see a bunch of different variants because now we've taken our controlled scenarios and we've limited them. And these Ice Climber players start doing way better and these Marth players start doing way better because FD is the only legal stage. It isn't a true representation of the metagame and how well a character can perform and how well players can perform because we're only getting a small snapshot on a very limited sample size of stages. So this is essentially the core problem of not running DSR. Because if you have a best of five set, now let's go back to Ultimate, and game one I strike down to Pokemon Stadium, which is really beneficial for all of my characters. Uh, I win game one, and my opponent and I ban two stages, uh, say, Lilat and uh, Town and City. And my opponent takes me to whatever stage. And I lose there, and then he has to ban tri platforms. Both the tri platforms we have legal because my character is really amazing on that stage. And so he bans both tri platforms, and he's like, oh, okay, well, you know. He already won on Pokemon Stadium 2. I really don't like that layout, so I'm going to ban Pokemon Stadium 2. Well, I'm going to take him to the alternate of PS2, which is going to be Unova. And we're going to play at Unova. So we're playing on the same platform design, and I'm going to win that game. And say I lose the next game. And we go to whatever stage, and then for the fifth game, he can't stop me from going to the same platform layout. There's nothing he can do to stop me. So we're in this situation of where this, technically, this entire set can be played on two to three stages. Almost forced to play on two to three stages. Because if he changes his ban from Pokemon Stadium 2 to, uh, to the Unova League, then I'm going back to PS2. So in this best of five set, we end up actually having a smaller sample size than if we weren't running DSR which essentially means that we have less data, we can less accurately represent who the best player is at the end of the set. Now I know the Ice Climbers example on FD for Melee is a really extreme example, but I just use that to highlight the point that a tournament is 
its core purpose is to find out who's the best and to give us as many scenarios and as much data as we possibly can have. If you have DSR, that game 5, it can always be on a new stage. This allows more opportunities to get bigger sample sizes and overall benefits what a tournament's supposed to do.